Hello, my friends. I have an unusual video for you today. A friend of mine has asked me to paint her eyeglasses with fluid art. So before I say yes, I wanted to practice a little bit. So I went to the dollar store and picked up some inexpensive readers. And I did three pair and I will show them to you. But I learned from doing them and so I decided to make a video with um, tips and tricks of what I learned doing these and hopefully the pair I do for you will turn out better. <laughs> so, first of all, I suggest you remove the um, lenses. And it's really easy to do. They just pop right out, especially on inexpensive frames like these. You just push them out from the inside. You hold on to, I don't want to use these because they're still a little wet. Let's see. I'll show you the pair I'm going to work on today. Uh, you push them from the inside out. You just cradle the frame part in one hand and push with good pressure with your thumb. And I found pushing from the, the corner seemed to be the sweet spot for these. It wasn't easy. On better made glasses it was a little hard. If you're um, uncomfortable trying that, you could always bring them to your eye doctor or Walmart or somewhere and ask them to remove the lenses for you temporarily and um, that would be an easy way to go. The other thing you could do would be to tape over the uh, lens with blue tape and then trim around the you know the um, opening with a exacto knife but you risk scratching your lenses and um, when you remove the blue tape you might lift some of the paint so I think it's easiest if you remove the lens. So that's step number one. Let me show you today's results and then I'll show you what I did to prepare those. So the first one I did was a dip. I used paints uh, with Floetrol, Liquitex, and paint. I think that was it, no water. I, they were leftovers. And I just dipped them in. And Here's the result. I think they're kind of fun, but you can see, I mean, they're not dry yet. I just lift, I just touched that one and took some of the paint right off. But um, these were black and they had tortoiseshell arms. I thought those I would leave alone, but it's starting to pull away from the black on, on the edges. So they're not perfect, but they're pretty. I'm, I'm not unhappy with the colors and the way it turned out completely. And then I tried another one, and this time I used some of the same oranges and then some Artist Loft ready to pour paints because they dry with um, uh, luster, and then I figured it wouldn't have to varnish. And this is a new color, metallic cobalt blue in the ready to pour paints. It's beautiful. And this is what I came up with. getting dark. I hope you can see <laughs> see the color there. There we go. And if I think the, the cobalt is beautiful, really pretty there. But again, it's pulling away a little bit, not so much with the ready to pour paints, but the others were probably too thin. So then I decided, I had one more pair, and I decided to dip them in white to begin with, and then drizzle the colors on top. Similar to how I used, how I uh, created the Christmas ornaments I made last year, the round, narrow ornaments. I'll link it up above. It was a fun video if you haven't seen it. And I think that worked better. The coverage is, is much better. It's not pulling away from the edges, although perhaps these are more rounded edges than than those. But anyway, um, I think they're kind of neat. And these were done all with Artist Loft ready to pour paints. Silver, this cobalt, bright blue, and white. And I didn't worry about the arms, but they did happen to um, drip down the arms and, and looks kind of neat. Uh, 
Don't mind that. These were sunglasses. Anyway, so I decided I was going to try them on a pair of my good glasses. Um, these are from a couple of prescriptions ago, so I didn't mind playing with them. I wouldn't do this on anything, anything expensive or your best glasses. But um, I think as artists, it's kind of fun for us to wear glasses that we have painted. So I put a couple of coats of gesso, probably three coats of gesso on here, thinking that might help the paint adhere better than just to the slick plastic. These were all tortoise shell. And in fact, in the corners, they had little rhinestones. Um, and I used some texture paste to fill in, you know, they were convex to fill in there. So it's now fairly flat. Took the lenses out. And as I said, these were more difficult to remove the lens, but it was doable. So my idea for this is I'm going to dip it in the cobalt and the um, copper, and then I'm going to drizzle some of this orange on top. I think they could be quite fun. Now one important thing, you need something to rest them on while they're drying and it has to be tall enough. Um, I have the couple of these you know, fast food cups that are giant and they're tall enough so it can lay flat. The uh, 18 ounce cups, they're not quite tall enough and then it, you know, your the arms of the glasses are gonna be touching the, the table and it won't be flat. So get something that lifts, that's longer than the arms of the glasses. Okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and dip these. I'm working on freezer paper here. And then I'll put it on the cup and drizzle. So, here we go. I'm just going to make a little mark so I know how big to make my puddle. And there we go. Okay. I wonder if I want to add some of this to that. I love that orange. I think I will. I may drizzle also, but I'm going to just fill in some of these holes with a little bit of this. Okay. And maybe I'll even take a skewer Kind of dress it up a little bit, mix it up rather. Okay, here we go. And dip. I don't know if I have so much copper there. Ah, I should have put the copper down first. I'm gonna add more blue, my friends. I, I have to have more of this. And dip. You'll have to kind of rock it side to side, back and forth. I'm not going to worry about the nose part if it when it drips. Um, I think it could easily be uh, scraped off the paint you don't want. Okay, are you ready? Oh, I love them. Look at that. I hope you can see it well enough. Let's see. If I bring this little light over, look. Look at the colors. Oh, I like them.
So now I'm going to set them on here to dry. I wonder if I want to drizzle a little bit. Jazz them up ever so slightly with a little bit of this bright, bright orange. I guess I do. Oh, is that a mistake? Looks better on the copper. Yeah, I'm not liking that. <laughs> Well, I'll just try to fix that. I'll go into my blue with a palette knife and just fix that. There we go. I'm okay with it there and there and there. Yeah, I probably should have left it alone. I could dip it again. Should I dip it again? I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. I should leave well enough alone. I am. I'm going to dip it again. I thought it was going to be so organized on this video. And here I am. Changing the plan. Oh, good. I still like it. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to mess with that. Let me bring you in closer. Aren't they fun? Now, I imagine... I will have to kind of uh, scrape out paint from the the channel where the lenses fit in, but I think that can pretty easily be done because, of course, the paint is going to flow inside the glasses as well. But um, and you need that that channel for the lenses to snap back into place. But I think that can be done easily enough. So, there we go. I think I'm ready to tackle my my friend's glasses. We'll just, uh, well, I'll see how these dry. And then um, I'll give them a go. Okay, my friends. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was different. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, well, here are the dry glasses. It's just the next day and they're they're dried. Um, I think they came out pretty nice. I have not yet put the lenses back in. It is more difficult on um, quality frames to get the lenses out and put them back in, but it can be done. Uh, it's real easy if you're just using breeders or sunglasses non-prescription ones. What I did to prepare it was um, run my my thumbnail in the groove all the way around the glasses and then I took a, a skewer and ran that in there to get any loosened paint and that worked out well and then you just pop it back in from the from the front and that's it. Pretty easy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was it was fun to do and I think I have learned a lot and I'm ready to tackle my friend's glasses if she's willing. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this. Stick around. You can see a few pictures of me wearing these and I'll see you next time.